just want to give a shout out to Kanye West and say big up Kanye for being the person who single handedly um, brought about the resurrection or the kind of conversation around how great Demna is as a designer and how important he is for the fashion industry and how underrated or underappreciated his time at Vetemont was and obviously I'm a massive fanboy of Demna I've got many many pieces from Vetemont over the years that I've worn to absolute death if you see me around town you would have known the stuff that I've worn I've obviously got the jacket that kind of been wearing recently that sort of um, flip on the can of goose I've got the hoodie that he wore famously with Lord back in the day I've got a few t-shirts um, I've just got many things that kind of tie into that era um, got a couple of other hoodies um, a hat a mask bare things and personally it's just a thing for me that I've always kind of connected with obviously with its kind of central European roots and the fact that I'm sort of obsessed with that part of Europe and the fact that I've got an interest in watching series from that part of the world. I've obviously followed a lot of stuff when it comes to the crime sort of aspect of it, when it comes to the Black Panthers, sorry, the Pink Panthers, and the fact that they are these international gang of jewelry thieves and thieves in general who are basically from that kind of balcony sort of region, um, former army guys, former special ops guys, and people who generally just, you know, live a very counterculture life. Um, you know, of course, the civil war that happened there, everything that informs them in terms of his designing, in terms of where he lives, where he's from, sorry, in Georgia. There's always something that kind of resonated with Verma. It, it, it was like an intrinsically European for me, right, in some way, shape or form. And again, maybe it's not, you know, racially something that I would connect to, but in terms of it representing the downtrodden, the kind of overlooked sectors of society, I thought definitely was something that I would kind of lend myself to. And the fact that his, again, you know, his background, he done the education, he done the time and then he kind of made this um amazing brand with no real lead person at the, at the start that's how the, the thing was it was no lead designer it was all kind of done by committee with all these friends and shit then of course he came out of the shadow and said it's all him and then he kind of stepped aside and did balenciaga for a bit then he came back then he left vincent Mar and now vetimo has gone back to being um you know no one designer and kind of designed by committee allegedly but we don't know but still there are many things from the previous collections that are so overlooked and it's great to see kanye basically flexing and reminding people how great the stuff is i wonder if he's like got a private access to a collection of old vetimon that never sold because unfortunately towards the end of the time even though i think those last couple of seasons i think maybe 17 to 19 um when obviously Demma stepped away and, and went to do um balenciaga full time i think maybe want to be what maybe are legitimately some of the strongest years of vetma like especially that last the, the season where um it's underrated as well the one where they're kind of on the runway but the runway is in the mcdonald's and they're sort of walking through it that's one of the one of the strongest section it might be as strong as the first first selection collection they did um in that small club somewhere in paris that you know jerry lorenzo was kind of famously banging banging his head to in that youtube video um but yeah one fantastic designer really really rate him and this is a page curse this is a page from instagram curse of a user called kaz kaz 999 and he's great because he kind of lists all the outfits and breaks them down in terms of what certain person's wearing from the Kanye's to the Rockies all these kind of people but mostly I check out for the Kanye stuff because you know the Rocky stuff mostly if I see it if I, if I see him wearing I'm just not going to wear it especially if I have it in my wardrobe already it's just you know the last thing you want people to tell you you've got that ASAP Rocky jacket I can't, have, I can't be having that so he broke down what Kanye recently wore to Diddy's party the one where there was red lights somewhere dimly lit and there was all mobbing out and he had like you know his Kanye garb on and he especially had head to toe Vetemar head to toe Demna um, Kanye was wearing it says here Balenciaga uh, LED frame glasses with the LED lights on obviously um, illuminating the logo um, you got the full winter 18 Vetemar Marilyn Manson printed shirt which obviously you would understand obviously with his kind of kinship with Marilyn Manson over the last few years um, which is basically brought up on because Kanye seems to have an obsession or he feels responsible for people who he feels like get cancelled or get treated unfairly by the public, especially people who are like formerly um, people that everyone used to like love and adore, then they make a mistake and then he kind of feels response. He kind of feels like he needs to step in and remind people to be more humane and whatnot. Obviously, in Marilyn Manson's case, it's a bit hard to say that because he has been accused of, 
you know, essay, you know, as they say in YouTube speak. Um, I think that woman from Westworld really, really detailed account of how she felt like she was in a very toxic relationship with him and some things might have happened, some things might not happen, but it wasn't some light, you know, he said the wrong thing or he made a joke about some dead kids in the school from a school shooting. No, he he actually did something to a few, let's say to some women, allegedly, um, which some people did, obviously didn't like, which eventually led to him didn't he get like cancelled from a festival? So I don't know. Loads of things happened to him. And obviously you, you obviously saw him at the Donda release. He wasn't looking the best. Looking like he's been ordering all the Uber Eats. But yeah, regardless, he's got that shirt on. He's got distressed wide leg jeans from 14 to 21. He made, he's actually made them look quite wearable. Um, he's got the Heron Preston and Nike gloves, which look great on him on there. And interesting as well that he's wearing a lot more Nike out in public nowadays because I guess he's a billionaire and he doesn't really care what people say about him and what people at Adidas maybe say in terms of their emails going through, but I'm sure it's not something that they would like. And then he's got the full winter Balenciaga microphone flip sandals, which kind of look at the top. They have this very kind of geishery, you know, Japanese vibe, but then the bottom just kind of look like a standard um, Haviana that you would find on the streets of Rio. But yeah, a fairly sick outfit. Again, um, credit to Kanye for resurrecting Vetemar on his own reminding people how much of a sick brand it is i also like the fact that he's doing this whole face mask thing everywhere he goes mostly um it's i think the face mark has been a great thing for celebrities isn't it because there was that period in time where everyone was kind of laughing at tom was it no at leonardo, leonardo dicaprio for going around and kind of covering his face with a coat and jacket he didn't want to be seen he didn't want to be bothered he just wanted to kind of move around the world incognito but now you legitimately can if you're a celebrity you unless obviously you didn't make people notice you if they saw cameras snapping and maybe shouting your name as they're trying to get your attention and shit but most people won't know, recognize you if you put a mask on i know i wouldn't recognize fucking david beckham down the street if he had a fucking face mask on i might be like i might do a double take but i'm not going to go over and say hi is it you can you put your mask down i'm not just going to leave him alone keep it moving i think that's what they all wanted that ability to kind of be like oh yeah you can just move around people might know it's you in the back of their head but there's not going to be like a trail of people like trying to stop you to get pictures and shit but yeah the shirt looks boss i see him walking through this is how i'm they have one of those weird things, those weird kind of rich guy session things they do where they all sit around listening to each other's music or the music that they've already heard. I don't know, it's just it's just a bizarre world to live in, isn't it? I'm sure it's enjoyable though. And yeah, there's, there's the LED glasses, the Vetmon shirt with Marilyn Manson, the great distressed wide leg jeans, the really cool hair and Preston gloves that he did with Nike great sandals there from balenciaga like all really well done maybe it's just me maybe i'm in the minority here but i think the outfit is fucking sick i think he absolutely smashed it i gotta be completely honest so yeah big up kanye big up denma reminding everybody that he is the most important designer in fashion even though all the fashion heads like to tell you is raf simmons who i love as well but let's be honest in terms of being able to appeal to the fashion hipsters and snobs and all the show studio diet prada type people and the people on twitter writing dissertations about met gala looks he can survive he can he can kind of satisfy those guys he can satisfy just people that just want to drip and also satisfy people that just want to clout and have like you know those um sock trainers on or the triple s's that i have and stuff like that's a talent in itself i think that's a talent in itself 